What can you tell us about uh, this arrest and what it relates to? As I was saying to my listeners in a moment ago, it follows, of course, others who've been arrested, including uh, former Commissioner Khomutso Patlane, uh, Delue Delange, and others. Yeah, so basically this particular arrest brings it to nine, nine people who have been arrested uh, who are police officers, and the others are civilians. Others worked for the company in question, which fought 65 million rand uh, from the police services. So this is about the installation as well as awarding of emergency lights to the police services. What was irregular or untoward about uh, this deal? So essentially, three processes were issued. Um, for obviously, when a contract has been um, open source for for quotation, there's a process that takes place where bids are looked at and then shortlisted and all of that. So her particular involvement in this is she aided the service provider that eventually got the contract uh, to basically bypass the others. Two other processes were uh, were cancelled and then another process was instituted in order for the preferred service provider, the one that we believe is actually preferred by other police officers, in order to get the bid. But was at least a, a, a delivery of the services required? Not quite. So the, the major issue in this particular case is not necessarily whether a delivery of the, the, the said service was provided, but how exactly it took place, because we need to be cognizant that the government has to make sure that whatever contracts are issued for a variety of reasons comply to the Public Finance Management Act. And what we found in this case is that that was not done. And this is something that seems to have been happening in various other government institutions. Just last month, we were in court in the car markings tender, valued at over 80 million rand for various other transactions, where similar modus was used. So what the investigating director working with ICID, working with the Hawks, is basically saying is that we're trying to rid the system of any dubious dealings that has been done with service providers, along with uh, internal police officers or internal persons who are supposed to be entrusted with the fiscal of that particular unit. And this was all at the low, low cost of? It was supposed to be at a total cost of 191 million rand. However, when we finalized our investigation, 65 million rand had already been paid to the service provider, and 22 million was literally stopped. The, the invoices were sent, and everything was literally stopped just after we started uh, bringing various persons before court. All right, uh, Cindy Suetwala there. We appreciate your time, spokesperson at the National Prosecuting Authority, on that developing story. Current events, developing stories, tough questions, your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.